Hi everyone. So this video is about the biomolecules. So if you have gone through the uh, like a board exam, if you have gone through the question paper, you might have observed that one question uh, from the biomolecules is for the one mark and one question will be for in the part D. Okay, that is for the five marks where the compulsory question will be there for you people to write the Haber structure. Okay, so they may ask you people or if you have uh, observed 2014 to 18, 19, okay, at present the question paper, you might have seen the, they have repeatedly asked the Haworth structure of a, either sucrose or maltose or lactose, right? So, it's very necessary, but where many students will like, uh, feel like it is very difficult to practice the structure, it is very difficult to remember the structure, okay? So, if we go with a simple trick, Okay, if you practice with a simple way, then it is very easy to remember the structures. Okay, so here as I have written already, I want to show the Haber structure of uh, the glucose, fructose, okay, and sucrose, maltose, and the lactose. So, dear students, here glucose and the fructose are the monosaccharides. Okay, these two are the monosaccharides which will not undergo further hydrolysis. So, that is what the monosaccharide will going to say. Whereas sucrose, maltose and the lactose are disaccharide means when they undergo hydrolysis, okay, when they undergo hydrolysis, okay, acid hydrolysis, the results in the uh, formation of a uh, monosaccharides, okay. So, they are made up of a uh, two monosaccharides. So, that's why they are called disaccharides, okay. So, here you need to remember the structure, okay, you need to practice the structure and I'll going to show in what way you can remember, okay. So, here I'll going to discuss which are all the monosaccharides monosaccharide for each uh, disaccharide okay and here for the glucose and the fructose let us go with the uh, their structure first okay so we know that a glucose is of like we're going to call it as a alpha d glucose and beta d glucose okay only a change in any one carbon so first i'll just going to show glucose okay so alpha d glucose as well as we will practice the structure of a beta D glucose. Okay. See, here the Haber structure is nothing but a cyclic structure. Okay. So, this is how you need to write first. Okay. Six membered carbon chain, carbon uh, cyc cyclic structure, which we'll going to call it as a pyranose. Okay. So, I have written and both will be having the same structure like this. So, I'm just letting you to find the difference between the alpha and beta D glucose. Okay. So here, right in this way. Okay. Now, when it comes to alpha D glucose, dear students, you have to remember that. So see here, H, H, OH, H. OH, H. Okay. And here, CH2OH. So, if remember at one side of the carbon, whatever the bonding, then the opposite of that you can write on another side. Means you have to remember only the one side of a bonding. So, repeating H, H, OH, H, CH2OH. When you say repeatedly this one, you can remember like H, H, OH, H, CH2OH. Now, this one, if H is there opposite OH, if H is there opposite OH, OH is there, the opposite is H, H is there opposite is OH, CH2OH is there, the opposite is H, okay. So, this is called alpha D glucose, but when it comes to beta D glucose, the structure, everything remains same, only at the first carbon it will be opposite, means, remember, Instead of HOH, -H, it is OH, -H, H. Only at this carbon there is a change. Okay. So, H, H, OH, -H, H. So, similarly, here OH -H, and here again H. Okay. OH, -H, H. So, it is like H, H, OH, -H, H. Here OH, -H, H, OH, -H, H. Okay. So, here as it is CH2OH -H, and here uh, H opposite is OH, OH opposite is H, H opposite is OH, okay, and here it is H. 
so this is about the alpha d glucose and the beta d glucose only there is a change at the first carbon okay that is here we'll going to have a h oh and here oh h okay so such type of such type of a pairs are also known as like a anomers which change only at the uh, carbon 1 okay now similarly we will going to uh, write for the fructose okay we know the uh, here i forgot to write the c6 H12O6 is the formula for the glucose. Okay. So the second one that is fructose, which is also what we're going to call it as a fruit sugar. Okay. Why we're going to call it as a fruit sugar? Since it is available in the uh, fruits, okay, almost all the fruits. So that's why it is called fructose or fruit sugar can also be known as ketose. Okay, whereas glucose is known as what dear students, it is called aldose. Reason, glucose has a functional group aldehyde, whereas the fructose has a functional group ketose. That is the reason. Okay, now here also we will uh, going to write the structure. Okay, this is also very easy way to remember the structure. See here, write 5 carbon uh, cyclic structure, okay, furanose, what we are going to call, again put a bond like this, okay, similarly let us write, okay, yes, this is how, now again this is called alpha D fructose, okay, and this is called beta D fructose again there is a change in any one carbon okay that's it so here that you have to remember here so we have ch2oh and here also we have ch2oh this is how you had to remember okay ch2oh ch2oh common and here we have oh okay so ch2oh oh h ch2oh OH, H and CH2OH. The upper two a bonding will be same. Okay. And here we have OH, H. Now fill the opposite. CH2OH will be here OH and here H and OH. Okay. And here H. Clear. Now for the beta D fructose, for the beta D fructose here, there is a change in only at this carbon. Okay, we have CH2OH dear students and OH over here in case of alpha D. But here what happens? We have a OH here and we have a CH2OH here and all the remaining common. We have a OH, we have a H, we have a CH2OH. Okay, now the fill opposite H, OH and H. Okay, so there is a change in only at the first carbon over here. So alpha D fructose, beta D fructose. Okay, so this is for the monosaccharide. <coughs> but for your exam, they are going to ask you people repeatedly about the harvest structure of a sucrose, maltose, lactose. Okay, let us uh, practice that one. So let us go with the first one that is fructose. Okay, sorry, the sucrose. So, sucrose is common that you might have heard, okay. This is a disaccharide or the table sugar what we are going to use in our home, okay. So, sucrose with the formula C12H22O11, okay. When the C12H22O11 will undergo hydrolysis, okay, it results in the formation of a two monosaccharide. One is C6H12O6 that is glucose. Okay, alpha D glucose we are going to get and we are going to have C6H12O6 that is beta D fructose. Okay, so these are the two monosaccharides we are going to get upon hydrolysis of a sucrose. Now, how you can write the harvest structure of a sucrose? This is very important dear students. Okay, very simple. If you know the structure of alpha D glucose, if you know the structure of beta D fructose, what we have practiced over here. Okay, then you can write it very easily. Okay, now let us write alpha D glucose. So I told you how to remember. See, this is a basic you had to write. Okay, since it is an alpha D glucose, H, H, O, H, H 
and here CH2OH. Okay, now the fill opposite OH, OH, H, OH, and here it will going to have a H. Okay, this is alpha D glucose. Now write the structure of beta D fructose. How? Write the five membered cyclic structure. Okay, now write the bond like this. Since it is a beta D, I told, okay, so here it will be uh, OH, okay, and here it will be CH2OH, and here it is common CH2OH will be having, okay, and here what happens? OH, H, okay, so OH, OH, H, CH2OH. So now fill the opposite H, OH, okay, and CH2OH, H over here. Now, these two are the mole. So, one water molecule will be lost and it results in the formation of a structure like this. Everything remains same. H, H, OH, H, CH to OH. When you start practicing repeatedly, then you can remember it very easily. Okay, with a trick you have to go like remember the one side part then you can write the another opposite of that one. Here OH has already lost then okay and here we have a beta D fructose structure. The oxygen is acting as a linkage okay and fill the remaining CH2OH, OH, H and H, OH and here CH2OH. H. Okay. And this linkage, this oxygen which is acting as a bridge between the two monosaccharide, this is called glycosidic linkage. Okay. Glycosidic linkage. How it is getting linked means here the first carbon. Okay. And here we have a like a, a second carbon. This is the first one. One, two. Second carbon. So this linkage is alpha one to two to glycosidic linkage okay this question might be asked for your competitive exam what type of linkage is it is okay so this is how you need to practice the harvest structure of a sucrose okay so similarly dear students so the next uh, disaccharide is maltose okay which will going to call it as a malt sugar in many of the cereals and in some of the flour you will going to see the malt sugar okay so which upon hydrolysis which is a disaccharide which upon hydrolysis will going to give two monosaccharide units where the two monosaccharide units are same that is alpha d glucose okay so to uh, this maltose is made up of two alpha d glucose units when they will combine okay by the loss of water molecule we will going to get the maltose okay so how you can write the harvest structure quite simple we know the alpha d glucose structure right so write the pyranose ring okay so i have shown you how to practice h h oh h CH to OH. Okay, now opposite OH, OH, H, OH, H. This is a one alpha D glucose. Similarly, same another unit we will going to write like. Okay, write in the same way. H, H, OH, H. CH2OH. Why same structure dear students? Because this maltose is made up of a two same glucose units that is alpha D glucose. That's why I am writing the same structure. Write the opposite H, OH and H. Now these two will combine to form a maltose. How? By the loss of a water molecule as I told. Okay. Uh, like a OH and from H over here okay so water molecule will be lost and this oxygen will act as a link okay which is nothing but a glycosidic linkage so the structure will be like this okay so this oxygen is acting as a linkage so write the same structure again okay so it is H H OH H and CH2OH over here. Similarly, H, H, OH, okay, H over here, CH2OH, okay, fill the opposite, 
H okay and OH H over here OH over here H over here so this is called glycosidic linkage and which carbon are involved in a glycosidic linkage from here it is the first carbon okay from here one two three four fourth carbon so it is alpha one to four glycosidic linkage okay so this is an again an important point for the competitive exam okay what type of linkage they may ask you people okay this is about the what the maltose so the last disaccharide that we need to uh, discuss is about the lactose okay so lactose is nothing but a milk sugar which is present in the uh, milk of the mammals okay so that's why it is also known as a uh, like a milk uh, sugar and which upon hydrolysis will results in the uh, two monosaccharide unions one is beta d galactose and one is beta d glucose means it is made up of the two monosaccharide units that is beta d galactose and the beta d glucose with a glycosidic linkage okay so here how you can remember the structure is you know the structure of beta d glucose i'll just going to show this one first then we'll going to practice this one okay so we know the uh, structure of beta d glucose only change at the first carbon when you compare with the beta d and the alpha d okay so that in case of alpha d you have h h o h h right but here we have o h and this is common okay o h h c h 2 o h and h okay now fill the opposite h o h h and here we have o h okay this is for the beta d glucose now what is the difference between the beta d galactose and the glucose is only at the carbon over here okay so now let us write same here what we have o h h here also we have o h h okay and next what we have h o h here also we have h o h what we have o h h here also we have o h h okay and here we have h o h but it is opposite o h h that is the only change when we compare with the beta d glucose and the beta d galactose okay and here as it is c h 2 o h h over here clear so this is how you need to remember now here the water molecule will be lost like this we have a oh here we have a h over here okay so here the water molecule will be lost and the linkage will be like this the glycosidic linkage will be like a cross so this is how minus h2 will be lost now again we'll going to write that one so that you can get practice of this this is what we have and here the glycosidic linkage okay h and now we have h right as it is okay fill as it is like oh okay h oh c h 2 o h so h o h h and here we have a h similarly here also it is same what we have the structure only change at this carbon that is we have o h and h over here now remaining you can fill as it is like a beta d glucose o h o h h and here c h 2 o h h yes this is the structure of a harvard structure of a lactose dear students okay here the linkage you could observe we have 1 2 3 4 okay this is a fourth carbon here we have one so this linkage is beta okay since we have both the monosaccharides beta beta 1 to 4 glycosidic linkage okay so this is how you need to practice you have to remember okay uh, among like a lactose sucrose and the maltose one question will be compulsory for your theory exam for two marks okay if you go with a hint if you follow like how i have told then it is very easy to write the structure okay i hope you find this one useful thank you